and welcome back to Bikish Theories. In today's video, we like to talk about BTS's Bassa, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis of both the lyrics and the music video to see what they can tell us about the concept and the pop culture references that they included in the song. Bata is a song co-written by RM himself that uses the versatile nature of Bata to express BTS's charm and smoothness both as individuals and as a group. Now, much like Dynamite, Bata is a fun summer song that is meant to bring joy to ARMY and people all around the world. As the members themselves have said, this is a song with no grand message behind it. It is meant to be fun, light, refreshing, and to a certain extent it is meant to reconnect with the more light-hearted side of life that all of us have lost during the pandemic. Just because this time around we don't have many theories to discuss, however, this doesn't mean that there is nothing to talk about, because much like Dynamite, Pasha is a song full of references that we need to unpack to truly understand their concept. You see, as Namjoon has pointed out, this is a track that was inspired by BTS themselves. It's about what makes them charming, attractive and quite literally smooth like Bata, so in many respects we can say that Bata represents the culmination of their artistic journey up to this point. No matter how much BTS's concept has changed throughout the years, one thing that always remained constant is the focus that their music put on the question of identity and on the importance of knowing themselves in relation to the world that surrounds them. Back in 2013, for instance, BTS's journey began with BTS defining themselves in contrast to society. Then we moved towards a concept that focused on the way love and friendship define our youth. With Wings, they portrayed their first attempt at coming to terms with the darker side that came to the surface with adulthood, and this process continued with a trilogy that taught them to love themselves despite the opinion of others. This concept was eventually developed even more with the map of the soul, where after learning to love themselves, BTS took their time to actually get to know themselves in a journey that led them to self-realization, and this journey eventually brought them to the creation of B, which was the very first album where the members had the chance to get involved in all the aspects of production. With Dynamite, they celebrated this evolution with a track that allowed them to cross many borders, and with Basa, we finally get to see the final result of this growth with a song that is literally meant to show the world what makes BTS the group that so many people actually love. You see, in many respects, we can say that Basa represents what attracted ARMY to become an ARMY to begin with. Even if all of us might have different reasons that led us to listen to their music, the very first thing that usually catches people's attention is their charm, their talent, their skills and the lovable personalities that transpire through the screen, and Butter portrays all of this in a way that shows BTS being unapologetically themselves. After breaking so many boundaries and challenging the prejudice of many people, Butter shows us the members being confident in their own skin, in their own skill and in the positive effect that their music has on the world, so in the song BTS playfully present themselves as criminals who only need their charm in order to steal your heart. At the beginning, for instance, the video opens with BTS in a black and white environment that only focuses on them. This is the very first indication that BTS don't need big sets or bright colors to get your attention, but rather they only need themselves. The members are naturally cool and they get their looks from their mother, so their charm is something that they were born with and you cannot resist because of that. As they say themselves in the intro, the boys are smooth like Bata, like a criminal undercover, and this seems to be a reference to Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson, which is an artist that was also celebrated back in Dynamite and that continues to be an important inspiration for this song as well. Much like BTS, Michael Jackson was known for his charm, his impactful topics and his incredible talent, and even if the smooth criminal in his song was an actual criminal that got away with his crime, in Butter, this concept is adapted in a way that portrays BTS as smooth criminals who broke into your heart because of their charm. Now, in the first verse, the boys actually describe this process by comparing it to Trouble, which was a board game from the 60s where the die literally popped in the case in a way that allowed the players to smoothly move across the board. As we see in the video, however, these criminals get caught by the audience and when we see them taking their mug shots, all of them are associated to serial numbers, some of which actually have a meaning behind it. J-Hope's code, for instance, translates into the Korean word for kiss. Jimin referenced the date of their very first concert, JK included the date he moved into the dome back in 2011, while Namjoon chose the address of an apartment where he used to live in Seoul. 
V, on the other hand, wanted to reference a code that meant I miss you, but in the villa he ended up changing the meaning to wanting to be number one, while both Suga and Jin said that they put random numbers with no meaning whatsoever. As you can see, even from these small details, it's very obvious that the theme of this comeback is to embrace who they are, being unapologetically themselves, and charm the audience with their superstar glow. So when the chorus begins, the boys start dancing to the boogie, and their world becomes full of colors. Now this seems to be yet another reference to Michael Jackson, and more specifically to the song Blame It On The Boogie by The Jackson 5. Much like in that song, where the Jackson 5 couldn't stop moving because of the boogie, BTS get high on rhythm and show their skill because talk is cheap. Their performance is so charming that the audience cannot help but fall in for them, and they know it, so in the lyrics they tell us that they don't need Usher to remind them that you got it bad. Now, this is obviously a reference to You Got It Bad by Usher, which is an artist that much like Michael Jackson has played an important role in their musical growth. But as I mentioned before, the main inspiration to this song is BTS themselves, so in Suga's verse we also find a little nod to Cypher number 4, where he mentions the ice on his wrist to clap back at their haters. Just like the boys proved time and time again, BTS don't care about what people say about them, because the only thing that they care about is ARMY, which is why Jungkook keeps kissing his ARMY tattoo and the other members follow suit. As the lyrics say, you're always behind them every step of the way. You support them, you praise them, you give them strength, and most importantly, ARMY is the one that allowed them to fully embrace who they are and be confident in themselves. Now in the video, this little homage to ARMY is also portrayed with the boys themselves spelling your name with their bodies, and these visuals actually reference the concept that BTS and ARMY are one and the same. You see, back when Map of the Soul Persona came out, Namjoon said that to a certain extent, ARMY can be seen as a part of BTS's persona, which is the side of them that they choose to show to the world and that represents the part of their identity that they are most proud of. As we see in videos like Make It Right, for instance, Ami is the helper in the hero's journey and the light that guides them in their path. You are the people who comfort them and the galaxy that they manage to create with their music, so the fact that they chose to include that scene in the video not only implies that Ami is indeed a part of who they are, but also that when they are with you, they literally don't need anything else more than that. As I mentioned earlier, the white background is usually used to draw attention on the people that are on screen. If at the beginning this device was used to draw attention on BTS's charm, however, by the end the very same method is employed to focus on the bond that BTS and ARMY actually share. Even if the song is all about them finally embracing all sides of themselves without any restraint, what allowed them to reach this level of confidence is none other than ARMY. This is because you accepted them before they even accepted themselves, so now that they made it, the sky is the limit. They won't stop and they will continue to conquer the world with their charm, and ARMY will always be behind them to support them stronger than ever. So that's it from me today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time, bye bye!